Hello everyone, with all the different battle modes, the story mode, the AFK progress, you might be left asking yourself, which one should you really be building for? Should be investing in the story mode, get all the goods in there, or even investing in heroes inside the dream realm to get those higher boss levels. Well, luckily for us, there is about four main heroes that you can go for that wipe everything right across the board. So we're gonna be going over them and give you a couple of alternatives. So as much as Cessia is killing it throughout the story mode, she does decent inside the dream realm, but there's still some heroes that perform a little better. Rainier is a great one right across the board, can pretty much be used in every single mode except for the trials of course, but overall this is a great one for doing damage and also healing your allies. Keep in mind it is going to be a specific ally and a lot of people don't even realize that this is a support on it here, but the skills are so nice it does a decent job whatever you put it in. Of course, this one is a difficult one to get, meaning that we have to unlock that Stargaze Station at 400 pulls, but we can get those Stellar Crystals from the Guild Shop and the Recruitment Shop. And speaking of hard to get heroes, Thorin is going to be another one that pretty much works all the way across the board. It does work well in just about every single one of the dream bosses there. I think the only one I could think of is Temesia going up against that Necro Dracon there just because of her movement and jumping around. But getting Thorin, once again, difficult. The only thing we can really do is throw it in the wish list there on the epic recruitment poll. And other than that, you might be able to buy some here and there. But I think this one might be a little bit harder to get than Rainier. I think because it is so difficult to get them, maybe Granny might be a better substitution in the meantime, at least until you can land some more of them. But still, Thorn is definitely OP, and if you ever see him inside the game or go up against him, you're going to understand why. But in case you don't, the reason why everybody loves Thorin is when he dies, he's going to resurrect himself, go untargetable, and get like 40% HP. So it's a very solid hero to have around, and it's kind of one of those things like it's almost annoying to have to face against. Rowan is another great one too when it comes to the story mode and even PvP, it does fall off a little bit when going into the Dream Realm. That's where I'd like to probably go and throw in Smokey, if anything, at least for the majority of it there. I would still stay away from the Snow Stomper with Smokey, but even Coco might be a better chance to go in with than going in with Rowan. Once again though, this is a support class, so this is all stuff we want to use until we get Rainier built up. I don't think I'd really use a situation where I would go and pop two supports in, but there might be a rare occurrence, but really we want to get those damage dealers out there. And if you don't know on this one, the reason why everybody loves Rowan is because it's going to have a nice heal on a single target, but also supply energy to allies, being that they're going to be getting their ultimate skills popped even sooner. Now we do have pretty good chances of grabbing Rowan, given that we can get it in both the all hero recruitment and the epic hero recruitment, and you could even go and buy sigils of it right inside the arena store. The other one I love right across the board is going to be Odie. This is a marksman that has decent DPS inside the game. Like I said, works pretty well all the way across the board. There is a couple of spots inside the dream realm there that you might not want to use it, or there might be a better alternative. And that's more for Skyclops and the Necro Dracon there, but still, it's decent damage that you're going to do, but somebody like Merrily might even be a better choice, or even pair it up with Merrily. What I love about Odie though is this is one you could build so easily inside the game, get it from the all hero recruitment, put it in the wish list for the epic hero recruitment, which means you'll get four copies if you actually land on that. But then the fact that we can just go and buy copies from the dream store, this is really easy currency to get when you're going and playing the dream realm every day. Now, before you come at me there, I know there is a lot of other strong heroes like Kruger or Scarleta, but those are going to be mainly more specific to certain areas where these ones I've all mentioned seem to work pretty good in no matter what mode you put them in. With more heroes getting added to the game, there might be other substitutions that might actually trump these ones. But for now, these are good targets to go for. So if there ever is an event that's happening where you can select one of these four, definitely try to jump on them because it will make a difference for your team. I hope this helps you guys. And if you want to know what you should be doing the second you reach AFK Progress 100, take a look at this video right here. Thanks for watching. And remember, I pick my butt.